How strange can flowers get? How about so strange that we need formulas to represent flower structures? That's right. For those of us who can't draw a flower, we can always use symbols and formulas. This topic deals with the representation of flower structure with the help of symbols. A flower is a specialized reproductive structure which develops on plants. The type and organization of the flower parts are often key traits by which plant families may be determined. Therefore, botanists have developed a method for representing the flower structure of various families. They represent the parts of flowers and the arrangements of those parts using symbols. The number of sepals in the calyx is given by the symbol K. Thus, a flower with five separate sepals would be symbolized by K5. The degree of fusion of sepals can be indicated by circling the sepal numbers. The corolla is symbolized by the letter C. The degree of fusion is represented by circling the petal number. The symmetry of the flower is regular or actinomorphic represented as and irregular or zygomorphic which is represented by thus a flower with a regular corolla of five petals would be symbolized by C5. The andresium is symbolized by the letter A. The number of stamens and degree of fusion is represented in a similar fashion to the calyx and is A5. In addition, if the stamens are epipetalous, a line can be drawn connecting the C and A. For example, a petunia has five epipetalous stamens. This would be represented as C5 A5. A genetium is symbolized by the letter G. The number of carpels and degree of carpillary fusion is expressed in a similar fashion to sepals. The ovary position can be represented by a line drawn above or below the symbol G. A straight line below the G indicates a superior ovary. A straight line above the G indicates an inferior ovary. For example, a pentacarpillary genetium with a superior ovary would be symbolized by G5. An apocarpus genetium composed of three separate carpels and a superior ovary would be represented by G3. A syncarpus genetium consisting of four carpels with an inferior ovary would be G4. The symbol is used to designate the male flower and the symbol is used to designate the female flower. The bisexual flower is designated like this. These symbols may combine as needed to represent the structure of the given flower. If we study the mustard flower, we see that it has four separate sepals and four separate petals. The stamens are usually six in number, usually tetradynamous, that is four long and two short. The pistil is superior and hypogenous, consisting of two fused carpels or two locules. Therefore, the floral formula of a mustard flower can be written as K2 plus 2, C4, A2 plus 4, G2. To summarize, the number of sepals in the calyx is given by the symbol K. 
The corolla is symbolized by the letter C. The symmetry of the flower is regular or actinomorphic represented as and irregular or zygomorphic which is represented by the andresium is symbolized by the letter A. The genetium is symbolized by the letter G. This symbol is used to designate the male flower and the symbol is used to designate the female flower. The bisexual flower is designated like this. These symbols may combine as needed to represent the structure of the given flower.